everyone here. I'd like to welcome everyone to the latest Via Live product training. And what we like to do here is feature some of our most innovative products in the space of our sourcing platform. And before we do that, I wanna just touch a little bit more on Via Global Health for those of you on the line that are not as familiar. So Via Global Health is a medical sourcing platform that aims to make the process fast, easy, and affordable so that you, the distributor, can source, quote, purchase, and ship products from around the world. And there's a number of ways you can do that. So coming to the platform, you can obviously search by category. So if you're looking for maybe beds and furnishings or specifically for lab equipment, you can find those products there. Of course, you can search here for any products just as you would with Google. Um, but what we also like to do is feature some of our most innovative products here. So before we jump in there, I'll just show you a quick bit about Via Global Health, as we know you probably want to learn more about the company before you start purchasing from us. Um, so what we do is we're connecting suppliers and distributors from around the world with a global network. Uh, you can see some of the different partners that have either written about us or who have partners with us. On this page, you can find more information about who we are, watch videos, customer testimonials, and a little bit about the team as well. And you can even find our information about where we're located. What's missing here is our new office in Mumbai, India. So if you're in the area there, you can obviously find us uh, and our sales manager there locally. So jumping back quickly into the homepage, again, as we talked about those featured innovations, what these are are products that may not be available in your market yet, they may be new to market or they may not have the recognition of the market where you have an opportunity to fully introduce and bring to life a product that can have high impact and typically is a very affordable product that's built specifically for that market. So one product we wanna feature here tonight, which we're proud to do is the Pumani Bubble CPAP. So this actually may be familiar to more people than most of our innovations, but what's new to this product are a few updates for 2018. So we'll talk about those in a few minutes, but as you come to the product page, what we try to do here at Via Global Health is give you everything you could possibly need for your government tenders and private inquiries. So we know from having thousands of inquiries that you need pictures of the product. You want to see it both up close, but also in a clinical environment. You want to see the regulatory approvals. You want to know the short description of the product. You want to see the longer description, any key features about this product that makes it better or different, uh, specifications and, and details about performance, any kind of training video. So this video is one we did last year that we'll be replacing with this video in the next week or so. And then you can find clinical trials and studies and product resources. We know that manuals and brochures and accessories catalogs are a key requirement for uh, everything you need to submit for your inquiries and tenders. So additionally, there's other videos if you want to see testimonials or some additional training there. So if someone comes to the site and they are not a verified distributor with Via Global Health yet, what they would do is request a quotation. So for those of you on the line that are verified distributors, you know this process very well. But for those of you that are not, what we would do is then gather the information from the customer, their uh, expected quantity, their contact information, and then we would pass that over to one of our verified distributors to complete the sale. So that's our basic process at VIA. Uh, and with that, I'd like to introduce to Nika, the product specialist working on the Pumani. Thanks, Brian. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Danika, and I'm the product manager for the Pumani CPAP. And really looking forward to showing you the updates, going through a brief demo, and answering your questions. The Pumani CPAP comes um, as a complete whole unit, um, which is one of the major selling points, is that everything you need is inside the unit. Everything you need to operate comes with the unit. Um, and so that's one of the, the most important things. So with the Pumani starter kit comes um, the patient tubing assembly. There's three of these in each package. A set of hats, a small, medium, and large, depending on the size of the patient. Um, a user and repair manual, which is available here as well as online. And then a set of variety pack prongs. Um, the nasal prongs in the variety pack have one of each size from zero to five. So all of that comes when you order one Pumani CPAP and of course ex additional accessories are available um, to purchase separately. So I'm gonna go through this um, just with a general demo and then I'll go through the, ch the exact changes from the previous version of the CPAP. 
Um, so, as you know, the CPAP, um, money CPAP is, is equivalent to another, any other type of CPAP in terms of treatment and is used around the world to treat RDS in infants. And we'll go more into that after we go through the demo. So on the front of the CPAP, as you see, everything has pictures. So we have the expiratory tubing port, the power button, the oxygen inlet, an oxygen flow meter, a total flow meter, and a bottle and strap. Um, one of the great things that makes a bunny easy to use is that everything is visual. So it's very clear how to use it. Um, and in addition, we have on the top, the basic usage instructions. So that when people, if people don't have the manual or it gets lost somewhere, they can still use the Pomani and understand that. Um, so to assemble the CPAP, we basically have two sets of tubing. We have the expiratory tubing and the inspiratory tubing. The good thing about this is though they look somewhat similar, you can't make a mistake and put the inspiratory tubing into the wrong port and vice versa. Um, so the expiratory tubing, as you can hear it click, goes into this port with the baby on it. And the expiratory tubing goes into the top of the bottle. And you can hear that click. And um, if you try it the other way, it just doesn't work, which is one of the key, key things. So we then have our tubing. And it's now time to select a prong size for the baby. Um, so out of this pack, I'm going to choose a zero. Um, depending on the weight of your baby, there's guidelines in the manual and according to your hospital as to which size you should use. Um, it is important to note that you may have to change the size of the prongs as the baby um, nostrils get bigger over the days on the CPAP. Um, so that's very important. To connect, to connect the prongs to the tubing, we basically use uh, what we call fish elbows here. And we connect one to each side of the prongs. Now, once again, it doesn't matter which side you connect to the prongs. Um, so there's also you know, not much room for user error there either. Once we have that connected, we actually have an updated part, which is a tube holder. And this really helps to keep the tubes together, make it easier to manage, and it also gives the option to hang it on an IV pole or the side of a bed. Um, so as you can see, this can slide up and down and holds those two tubes together. And so now we have the complete patient circuit put together and ready. Um, as you'll know, one of the difficult things about CPAP um, can be connecting it to the baby and how that stays in the baby's nostrils. Um, and so what we've done is we've designed the Pumani to be attached similar to other types of CPAPs with a hat and hat clips. So to assemble the patient tubing, you, basically, you slide the hat clips onto the hat. And this will secure, without damaging the baby's skin, we'll be able to secure the tube. Um, after that, if you can see this one a little bit. There you go. After that, you place the tubing into the hat clips. And once again, it doesn't matter which side it goes in and the other side. And as you can see now, if the baby moves, this stays on there. So it's very solid. Um, an important thing to remember is as the prongs fill the baby's nose, we want to be careful not to insert the prongs into the baby before the machine is running and before there's um, either oxygen or air going through. So we'll leave these out here for now. And move the baby a bit to the side so we can look at the rest of the machine. So as I mentioned, the Pumani has an internal air compressor inside and you can also use it uh, with an external oxygen source. 
The entire unit is mechanical. So what is read on the meters and what is read in the bottle is, um, exact, is accurate. So there's no error. If another oxygen meter is off, um, for example, that happens sometimes a regulator, whatever you see on these meters and whatever in the bottle offering pressure is really um, what the accurate reading is. So that's a really important thing. So, so now we have the baby set up and we want to start basically CPAP therapy. Um, first, we find out from the doctor's orders, whoever's making the orders, um, what kind of pressure and what kind of flow we want to use um, and if they need oxygen. So I do have an oxygen source here. An oxygen source can either be um, a tank or a concentrator. It is, doesn't matter for the use of the CPAP as long as there's oxygen going in there. So the first thing we do is we make sure to open, before we turn on the machine, we make sure to open both flow meters all the way. Um, we've also filled the bottle, which gives the pressure to be anywhere between five and eight, depending on doctor's orders, five and eight centimeters of water. And that controls the amount of pressure going into the baby's lungs. Um, so now that we have these both open, I'm going to turn on the CPAP. And what you'll see is that the total flow meter is, is getting air in there and can be adjusted by this ball. So this is the air that's coming from directly inside the CPAP and is generated by the CPAP and therefore does not require um, any external compressed air source, which is hard to find in many of the countries this is aimed at. Um, next, I'm going to plug in the external oxygen source. You can still hear me. Um, and you're going to see that the oxygen meter goes up as well. So now this is where we use the blender inside the machine to make sure that the baby is getting the right amount of oxygen. Um, as you'll see on the top, there is a table, an oxygen blending table, that gives you, lets you accurately put in the FiO2 level, so the amount of oxygen concentration being delivered to the baby, and the suggested flow rate. And according to this, you can then adjust the flow meters to give, let's say, this right now says four liters of oxygen per minute, and the total flow is six. So that means you're getting four liters of oxygen and two liters of room air, so which is 21% oxygen. And that would be adjusted according to doctor's orders. I'm going to turn off the... Um, now, as I mentioned, you can use the Pumani without the um, external oxygen source. So when we do have the baby hooked up, we need to test that the machine's working um, and that there's a closed circuit. So once you do have the baby hooked up and you have oxygen or air going, the way to test that it's working is to, is to pinch off the prongs. If you pinch off the prongs, you'll see that the water starts bubbling. That is the test to verify that the machine is working and the baby is getting pressure. Or if you let them go, it stops. Um, so that's a, just a quick verification and check to make sure the machine is working. So I'm gonna um, turn off the machine now and unhook it because Another great feature of the Pumani is what's inside. And the inside is incredibly simple. So to go inside, I'm going to take off the screws that are around the unit. And to do that, you just need a normal Phillips head screwdriver.
There are six screws that are inside, so it does take a while. Um, we've already taken some off. So after the screws are off, it's going to gently slide the top, and the entire top will come off. Now it's important to remember before doing anything inside the machine or before touching the machine inside, to unplug it from the wall. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'm going to show you the inside of the machine. So as you'll see, the inside of the machine is incredibly simple. Um, we can see the tubing, um, the alarm, the power supply, and the pump. Um, so key to this machine is the pump that provides compressed air and is very strong. And um, we, so we've had units, we're running with this pump for over three years now, and um, they're still going. So this pump is designed to run continuously for up to five years. That's a really key part that we don't want um, that to break, obviously. Another great thing that we provide is inside the unit, so it doesn't get lost, is a spare parts kit. Included in the spare parts kit is an extra filter, um, an extra front clip, which is this piece right here, some spare O-rings, The O-rings go on the baby port, and sometimes after a year or two, they can wear out. So we put these in here, and then screws and extra fuses in case you need to replace fuses. So those are all in here. And though we don't expect the machine to be opened a lot or need to be opened, those are there in case um, that happens. And when machines are in use for a couple of years, sometimes the filter does need to be replaced. So that's there for you. Um, so I'm going to give you one more, well, let's do it like that, glance of the inside. And then I'm going to close it up the same way. Um, and then I would screw the screws back on. Um, pretty easy to do. So as some of you know, as you distribute with money currently, um, there are some changes and we launched, we did a soft launch of this version two starting in 2018. So now we are, the only product we're distributing is this 2018 version. The way you can tell the difference between the two versions is this version now says bubble CPAP where the previous version said CPAP. So that's just sort of an easy way to tell. Um, which machine you're dealing with if you're somebody who's distributed both types. Of course, there's a serial number that says that as well. So the major change to the Pumani was the patient circuit. So previously, there was an end cap on the patient circuit, and it wasn't a complete circuit. Um, after being in the field for two and a half years and products all over the world, we got a lot of feedback and decided that we would make it a complete circuit, which, which mimics more traditional CPAPs. So the end cap was sort of a specialized part for Pumani, and we decided to go back and go to more traditional CPAPs for um, ease of use and customer requests. So that was one change, and with that change, came this, the front clip. Um, in addition, we've added another, we've made sure we've put the oxygen flow meters that also has a valve. Um, and that was also due to some user feedback. So you can open and close both of the meters. Um, other than that, everything remains the same in the Pumani. So it's, it's a very, it's, it's a very soft launch and it's still incredibly easy to use and the users that have both devices don't actually really notice the the difference in the from the front facing. It's really just about having the right accessories. Um, so we're really happy to that we've launched this. We continue to work on our quality, and that's why we launched the new product to continue to listen to customer feedback and um, improve. That covers everything there. Um, 
and look forward to answering your questions. Great. Thank you very much, Tanika. That was very thorough. Uh, we do have quite a few questions, so we're not going to let you go just yet. Um, the first one is actually a nice transition from your talking about the changes to the new version. Uh, a couple questions from people that have the older version, just making sure they can still buy the accessories for that. Right. So that's a great question. Um, yes. So some of the accessories are the same and some are new, but we'll continue to provide support and accessories for the first generation C. Um, we'll definitely continue for two years, but as it will basically be determined as long as people want them, we will continue. So we will still offer support and, um, and the, the accessories. Perfect. And I'll stick with the accessories because that's quite a few of the questions coming up. Um, the question on just what makes up a full circuit with the new version of the Kumani. Okay. So... Let me just, so what comes in the starter kit is basically what makes up a full circuit. And you have two tubes. So you have the inspiratory tubing and the expiratory tubing. You have two hat clips, um, which isn't necessarily required as part of the, what we determine a circuit. You have two fish elbows, and then you need a set of prongs. So the change in, the only part change in this is the end cap. So the previous thing that was the end cap was replaced by another tube. Everything else remains the same. So there's still two fish elbows, one set of prongs, um, and then if, if necessary, if, if people wanted the tube holder. Um, so that's the only change, basically one replacement with another tube. Perfect. And we'll stick again with another uh, accessories question about uh, specifically asked about nasal prongs and, and patient tubing, but I guess across the board, what's reusable and sterilizable and what's single use? Right. So right now, um, due to regu regulations, all of our uh, accessories are labeled single use. Okay. And then can everything be purchased through you, or is it also possible to source these locally with um, generic versions, or is everything kind of proprietary to the Pumani brand? Right, so most things are proprietary to Pumani brand, and that is to ensure that, like I mentioned, you can't put the wrong tubing in, right? So I can't put this tubing in here. It only fits in here. So that's, you know, a safety and user thing. And so those are proprietary. The the prongs um, are quite similar to Hudson prongs, but they are designed specifically for Pumani. Um, so if, if the CPAP system you're using fits exactly in these, they will have the same effectiveness as with Pumani, though they're not specifically designed for that. Um, and of course, the hats um, are not proprietary, it's also, but it is very important that the hats fit securely on the baby. Perfect. Okay. And then a lot of people are just asking about basic accessories, spare parts, questions, uh, ordering. Again, for anyone that missed the beginning of the call, any questions you have for ordering or receiving a quotation, I'll put something up at the end of the call with the email address and WhatsApp. Uh, and then again, the product page where you can find that information. Um, but focusing purely just on the product updates, um, a couple of questions in about what the recommended size or age of the baby that would be using this would be? For the prongs. Uh, for the machine in general. And then I guess oh, you could also talk about the prongs after that. Right. Um, so the, the machine in general is recommended for babies up to 10 kilograms. So it's basically usually up to one year old is the, is the 10 kilogram, but it's one to 10 kilos is the recommended. Um, Use. Is there okay. another and I, no, I know that uh, as well for anybody else that had questions about the prongs and sizing, there's actually a sizing guide in the accessories catalog. So I'll send that to anyone who's interested after. Uh, it's a very thorough guide just for sizing against the different prong sizes. 
Um, cool, so we can move off of accessories for a moment here. Um, a question just about generally where the product was developed and where it's manufactured. Right, so the product was um, originally developed with Rice University and then further development was done in Malawi, um, making sure that it's very focused on the target user. Um, in 2015, it was transferred over to um, Hadley Health Technologies, who manufactures it in California. Okay, perfect. And then, again, people are asking something. It's on the product page, but I'll let you answer it anyway. Uh, what regulatory approvals uh, are carried with this product? Right, so the Pomani has a CE marking. And it's perfect. Uh, for that, it's also manufactured in ISO 13485 uh, facility. Great. Um, warranty, uh, just what would carry through for product and accessories. Right. So the, the actual Pumani unit has a two-year warranty. Um, and then the accessories have a lifetime warranty until the package is opened. So it's important to when you receive accessories or look at these packs, so just visually inspect it. Um, and if there is a problem, report it right away, because once it's open, that sort of is when the warranty um, ends. However, for some distributors that you know purchase in bulk to then sell later, we do have a lifetime warranty on the accessory parts until they're open. So that's useful. Okay, great. And I know a few of our distributors on the line have already purchased the Pumani or in the process of doing so. And I think V has delivered it to over a dozen countries. But there's there's people just asking about where this is being used currently and how many places or I guess how many countries, continents, um, as far as a global understanding. Right. So the Pumani, there's about 700 Pumani units in the field. Uh, the majority of those are in Saharan Africa. Um, but outside of there, we have a total of 35 countries where the Pumani is being used, and that includes um, South and Southeast Asia, East and West Africa, um, and Latin America. Perfect. So just a couple things back, just more technical side. Um, the bottle, we're asking about what type of water. Is there any specific type of water, or can it be tap water? Right. So we recommend to use distilled water. Um, but what happens, so when you have this circuit is some things go into the baby and some things go out of the baby and they never come back. So the water in the bottle never goes back towards the baby. Um, so there's no risk of any infection or anything going from the, or dirty water going from the bottle to the baby, to clarify that. Um, depending on, like if you have hard water or what um, deposits are in your water, after a while there can be some buildup, um, but the water can, then the bottle can be cleaned as well. Okay, perfect. And then there was one question about the bottle and if it's related to humidifying, which I know it's not, but I guess I'll ask these two together because I think you'll have a similar answer. Um, is there anything in the Pumani that offers a humidifier or battery backup? Right, so I'll start with the battery backup. So there's not currently a battery backup in the Pumani. Um, but when we understand electricity does go out and there is a safety in the machine that if the electricity goes off after 15 seconds, a large alarm sounds to help notify the user that they need to um, either turn on their generator, remove the prong from the baby or figure out an alternate source of power. Um, and then in terms of so the warranty and sorry humidifier the bad for humidifier okay yeah so the humidifier this is not a humidifier this bottle sometimes confusing it doesn't provide humidification you need two separate bottles to do that and we currently don't offer humidification with Pumani and that was a, is a choice to really keep the cost down and also to keep it really simple. Um, you know, one extra thing on the side or one extra part, or one extra two, um, really complicates things for the user. So that's why we decided to not offer humidification with Pumani. Okay, perfect. And 
Um, obviously, we're doing a training right now, but if someone required additional training or some sort of a training portal, is there something that's provided? Yeah, so we do have, of course, the training manual that comes with the Pumani. We also do have a training portal that includes um, videos on how to use, um, how to set up the Pumani, prepare it, or troubleshoot. So that is available to uh, distributors and end customers as well, so that they have that available, um, you know, as long as they need. Great, and for anybody that's inquiring, having already purchased through VIA or in the process, if you do require any additional training, technical idea, we're always happy to coordinate that directly. Um, so we're, we wanna make sure you know how to use the product and, and uh, maintenance that of course. So just contact me or your country representative and we can arrange that for you. Yes, as far as the videos, they are available for um, later use. So once we finish this, I'll put together an edit and then I'll send everyone a link to that. I'll put it on um, our, our actual website as well. And there's actually on the home page, if you go to that, there's a section that has a training webinars uh, library where you can see all of our previous. And as well, if you go onto YouTube and search for Via Global Health, you can see all of our videos there. I think this is our 11th or 12th training webinar. Uh, might have missed it, but what is the indication for its use? The indication for use is uh, respiratory distress for patients between There's a, you can elaborate on that as well. Um, so depending on which country you're in, they call respiratory distress different things, um, but that is the, the simple um, indication for use. Okay, so I, I guess just to follow up on the maintenance question, what maintenance is typically required on just a general day-to-day um, -day wear and tear, things that people should be aware of? Right, so there's no you know, daily maintenance required. Uh, there are things that are important to check that if you're a distributor and you're going to you know, do a service or just to look at the machines to make sure they're working or you're passing by looking at a different machine. Um, it is good to check to make sure that the, the flow meters are open, that the bottle's clean, um, and that the, you know, the O-ring is, is here and in good shape on the baby port. The other thing we recommend is that once a year, the filter's changed out. Um, and that will change and vary depending on the quality of air in the hospital. But the filter that's inside the machine can sometimes get dirty, um, and that's why there's a spare one inside. Perfect. Uh, and then there's a question just as far as um, local technicians and engineers maintaining the machine, and would there be any training required? So I, I know you kind of touched on this already, and we already have quite a few of our distributors that have purchased. So between the training portal and the training manual, we find that most of the technical side of distributors are able to provide any maintenance and service based on that. Uh, but for anyone that requires anything additional, you can always reach out to us and we can coordinate any additional training for, for whatever your needs are. Um, okay. And since Okay, so since there is no battery backup, is a generator backup recommended? I think that would depend upon a lot of where this is being used. Yeah, so there is, the, I assume the reason that question's asked is because sometimes generators have um, higher spikes in power than even the mains would, so they both do. Um, and I guess that's very specific, it really depends. So there is surge protection in here and safeties and fuses that if there's too much power it won't damage the machine, it'll just blow the fuses. But that would depend on making sure that when the generator is being used, that it's set up um, in a hospital setting things up for medical devices. So I'll ask one that came in that I figured I'd leave to the last to let you kind of talk a bit longer. But um, basically just a question about how this is a better solution for CPAP in our core markets versus competitors and what makes it different and better and, and really stand out against the competition. Right. So the this the Pony CPAP is is a complete solution. Uh, everything that's needed to basically take it out of the box and start treating patients is there. Um, and that is the you know the internal air compressor 
for most of the places that Pumani is used, there is no medical air. Um, that is the, the patient tubing. It all comes together. You can just take it out and do that. That's definitely another big part. And there's no separate pieces to order. So sometimes uh, more complicated CPAP machines, you need a bunch of different pieces. You need a humidifier, you need a blender, you need a flow driver, all of those things, which can make it complicated uh, for customers to actually order the customers that need it. So the simplicity of it is really great. Um, as I said before, it's been through trials and is now used in five countries and it's clinically uh, very effective. And that effectiveness lasts because it is easy to maintain. Uh, because if, if for some reason you do need to change that filter, it's right there um, at the person who's servicing it or the hospital technician's hand, it's right there. Um, so that is sort of really key. It just keeps running, keeps running. Uh, it's high quality and we continue to improve our quality while making Pomani. And that's the reason that we've launched a new CPAP and we continue to take customer feedback and figure out how to adjust things so it's uh, the best for our customer. Um, and so those are sort of the, the main selling points. It's also very affordable, um, which I mentioned before with the humidification. So it's very affordable um, to use and to run. So those are the, the main selling points for the Pumani. So I don't see any others, but I'll just show my screen quickly just to kind of touch back on the questions people have had. Again, the regulatory approvals can be found here. Any pictures of the product that you're looking for, the longer description, any of the product features, performance information, that was somewhat of a question there. And then those trials and studies that Tamika mentioned, as well as the user manual and the parts and accessories catalog that was mentioned. Obviously, all of that can be found here on the product page so that it makes it fast, easy, and affordable for you to find the information you need and source the product. Uh, as I mentioned, once we have this video edited, that will be living here on the product page. And then again, as I also mentioned, you can find that on the home page, the library of all the other, um, the other videos that we've done. So if you click that, you can then just find all of the other products that have been done, and then we'll update everything with the new webinar we're doing right now. So I just want to touch quickly again on the product page and talking a bit more about probably the, the number one piece of feedback we've had from our customers that have purchased and been using this for the last several years is really just about the durability and the easy maintenance of the Pumani Bubble CPAP. Uh, what you'll know is that several of these products in the field have been in use consistently and consecutively for several years with almost never being turned off, if at all. So the durability of this product is incredible. And that's one of the things that people mentioned first and foremost is that it's almost as if they don't have to ever worry about this device because they just know it will work. And so it's the reliability and durability that really has come to the forefront. And so that's another piece of feedback we've gotten from our customers that it's durable and requires almost no maintenance. They just know the product will work. They know if they come every day, it will be functioning and will be life-saving. So um, really just from a customer standpoint, I wanted to relay that as well because it may not have come through in the, the demonstration and the Q&A just yet. Uh, for anybody else as well that asked for the quotes or has a question about that, you can contact us at sales at vaglobalhealth.com. You can also contact us by WhatsApp or anybody in the key markets that's a verified, verified distributor. You already know your country representative and you can contact them directly. And if you don't know them, you can contact sales at vaglobalhealth.com and we can obviously um, connect you to the right person. That's everything I have. Danica, any last thoughts before we step out? Uh, no, I'm very excited to answer all the questions and I'm um, excited that there's so many, so much interest from distributors. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. And thank everyone else, uh, wherever you may be in the world, where it's morning, evening, or afternoon. And um, we'll look forward to you on the next webinar. Thank you very much.